We make it a point as Try Guys traditionally to give you nightmares about our crotches. It looks like there's a black hole. And now we're gonna actually do it through fashion. Look at me go, I know how to sew. We're gonna build some britches. This is not what I wanted it to look like. What did you do? Ah! We're gonna try to make trousers. I've never been this behind in a video. It's the Try Guys without instructions. Today, we're making pants. Pants, America loves them. It's without instructions, pants edition. Today we're gonna to be making four different pairs of pants, all without instructions. This is very exciting because I wear pants almost every day. Pants to me are just something uh, that I have to wear to, to go outside. Tomorrow we will be judged by Allison over Zoom. Hi, I'm Allison Ohlfelder. I am a costume designer and costumer for film and television. We're gonna be judged on three criteria, construction, creativity, and is it pants? Hi, I'm Elizabeth Caldwell. I'm a costumer, costume designer, and artist. And I am here today to help the Try Guys out as they endeavor to make pants without instructions. I guess it's time for us to start sourcing our fabrics. Can we get a countdown? Three, two, one. All right. Okay, okay. So when I got the call to do this, I said, oh, pants, what a place to start, because I know I have definitely cried over a pair of pants. Pretty stretchy. Okay, that's good. And because they said I couldn't do leggings, I'm getting away with making jeggings. They look like pants, they feel like pajamas. The tighter the fit, the more room for error, because if you made it too small on the top, it could really just all go wrong. There's no parts that can be kind of loose, and you can chalk it up to creativity. Fucking bullshit without a recipe rubric, people messing up all over the place and calling it creative. <clears throat> Anyways, I digress. I'm gonna do two-tone maybe, we'll see. Today I'm bringing it back to the early 2000s. I'm making juicy pants. I don't have much of a butt to speak of, so I'd like to draw attention there and know what it feels like to have an asset that's worth flaunting. Overall, it seems like something to be successful with. The bedazzling could get wonky if you want them to be extra special. It's cargo pants, which are basically just khaki pants that are loose, so I think this will work. The fit will be a lot looser. It doesn't necessarily need to be tight. It's kind of just like a straight up and down pillar. I like cargo pants, and then I started dating Becky, and she said I couldn't wear them anymore. She was right. I might have chosen probably the most difficult material or pant to work with. I'm gonna be trying to make a tuxedo style pant today. I think it's definitely ambitious. It's the thing that involves the most tailoring out of anybody. Doing the tuxedo stripe down the side is gonna be something that I'm not prepared for. Pants are basically four panels of fabric, but can pants just be two panels of fabric? You think it's four pieces of fabric? Because I was definitely gonna try and make it out of one. One. Go for it, bro. How many seams are on your pants? It's a great question. None? Oh yeah, you're right. Wow, good idea, Keith. Yeah. I didn't think to look at my pants. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna need a closer look. And it's hot in here. When I make pants, usually I have a style in mind, and the easiest way to execute this is by using a pattern. Matt, I'm liking what's going on over here. Thank you very much, tryguys.com. Is that allowed? I just took yeah. my pants off. Don't make me put them back on and say it's against the rules. Okay. Hey, why's my boy got a spider in it? Well, you know, spiders are known for their weaving. That's true. Oh, that's true. So maybe it's good luck. Yeah, dude, can you make me some pants? Looks like from seam to seam, my shorts are about 13 inches. From dick to side, it's less. How'd that make sense? 35 inches, since when? How am I bigger than you? That doesn't make sense. I'm a 36, but I wear a 30. That's not right. That's what I was saying. But I'm a, wait, I'm a 34 length, and this says I need to be 38 inches long. Pants been lying to us this whole time. If you're just drafting a pattern based on your own measurements, you'll need to add an additional measurement in order to make sure there's room for your body to actually fit in the garment. All right, now I gotta measure the booty. Very important. Dang, 40. But I want it to be tight on the booty, so I'm gonna cut it at 38. Sometimes when you're doing this, you forget to leave enough room for your butt or your hips if you're more curvaceous. So you definitely need to take those measurements into account. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, based on my pants, like what 
an outline would look like. That what? feels like cheating. I asked if we could reference the pants. Reference the pants, not trace the pants. A painter can reference Mona Lisa, but he's not tracing her face on a canvas. I call shenanigans. I will not outline the pants then. All right, I've emerged from my pants mind palace with the following plan. We're gonna start with the ankles at a solid five and a half inches, then move up to the calves at 7.25. Then up into the quadular region, nine inches. The widest part will be the inner thigh and crotch. Booty will be 10, but it's not actually 10, it's 10 Then the two. waist, clocking in at a solid eight and a half. So here's my schematic. As long as I follow this perfectly, we're gonna be good. Okay, we're coming along. You know, pants, right, guys? <laughs> Looks like they're gonna be pretty heckin' big, but always easier to make big stuff smaller. You can't make small stuff bigger, unless it's a balloon. Keith, I think I'm yeah. You're No. Yeah, my material is so elastic that I can't just retrace my same template shape. Hmm. because it was stretched to a different tautness. So now I'm gonna try to trace the negative space so that I know that the edges of the fabric line up so that the length is correct. Oh no! Oh no! I cut it in the wrong direction. It's gonna stretch to make it really long, but not stretch over your booty. <laughs> So our final pants products, we're gonna wear them for every video from now on. Yeah. <laughs> wow, actually, I would love to wear these to a red carpet. Keith Habersberger, who are you wearing? I'm wearing myself. Tell us about the design. Well, I was inspired by my dad's apparel and my apparel as a youth. Ah, so you're wearing the uh, high-end label Daddy's Favorites? Yes, Daddy's Precious Cargo. <laughs> wow, wow. Keith, that's good. That's good. Honestly, we should just stop the video now. I think you already won. <laughs> that was it. That was it. I have been trying to figure out how to find my way to a Hemsworth joke. We'll get there. You'll find it. Uh, not yet. Here's how a sewing machine works. You take the needle, you put the thread through the needle, and then, this is a Eugene joke, but you know, it just sort of like f***s the fabric over and over again. You think it's just the one. No, there's two. It's got to grab, and it's grabbing, and grabbing, 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 grabbing. Gotta grab and it's grabbing, 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 grabbing. It's all coming back to me now. Guys, I think this is Keith's competition to lose. I was a theater student, which means I took a costume design class. I remember I did, at one point in my life, sew together a pair of pajama pants. Dude, Keith, you're killing it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait a minute. That's not how these work. <laughs> I put these legs together first incorrectly, so now oh, no. they're just one block of pants. Oh, no. But I know what I'm doing. I can fix this. You can sew over your pins, but be aware that sometimes the needle will hit one just right, and it can break your needle. Uh-oh. This requires a whole set of skills that I do not have. I think I used a sewing machine once in middle school. I think I broke a machine already. What? How much did you get sewn? Nothing. Oh my god. Literally nothing. It just immediately went fluk. Look at these hands. They haven't worked a day in their lives. I'm good at, you know, like drilling wood and cutting. All I need to do is flip it inside out and it's gonna be perfect. Look at that. Wait, what the? But when it comes to like fabric and crafty things, I don't know. Oh my God, what? What did you do? Ah! Ah! The side on the bottom was accidentally flipped over the wrong way. And so now I have half inside, half outside pants. So I've gone ahead and folded my fabric in half with the wrong side out. That's the inside, basically, when you're making your garment. I kind of like how it looks. That's like my design. I don't care if it looks cool or creative. This is just the point that when people f up, they pass it off as creativity. This is not what I wanted it to look like. I've never worked a sewing machine personally. So I just press the pedal and it goes. Okay. Let's see what happens. In a lot of past Halloweens and costume things, I've actually hand sewn a lot of things I've worn. So at the very least, even though the work is shoddy, I understand how things fit my body. I didn't mean for that to rhyme.
I don't know that I would pick the same material for a slack because it's a velvet, it's really slippery, and it's heavy. I don't know that it will feed through the machine really well. Uh, this fabric is impossible. Oh, this fabric's so hard to work with. It's just the, this fabric is so hard. There are different tricks that you can do in order to get them to cooperate a little more. You can use a light spray adhesive in between the layers. Another way is to sandwich tissue paper in between the layers in order to prevent slipping while sewing. It's like splitting. What is happening here? Okay, so Guys, I really don't. My body, my mind, my brain under. doesn't get it. I'm so frustrated. I just don't know how to use a sewing machine. It's like I don't, and the, the thing is so slippery. I just, what am I supposed to f***ing do? I don't know how to. It's the second time that I've broken my machine. I'm still on the, the top. And I've taken all my pins out, so all the work I've done is for nothing. I'm not going to have pants. Um, when I started, I didn't have the pedal down. The presser foot wasn't down, so I was just, it was just not stitching correctly. And then I got a knot, and my fabric's really stretchy. So I've gotten zero sewing done. Uh, meanwhile, a little fun going on over here. My machine's broken, and I, I, it wasn't me. Oh, shit. It's just jammed backwards somehow. I would say this is the least fun that I've ever had. Okay, these pants are too big. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say they're too big for well, me. Try them on. Let's try. Let's just try them on. Oh yeah. God, how do you make the crotch work, huh? Look at this. Now I'm attaching both legs at the crotch seam. Everything should lay completely even and flat, and that's how you'll know that you won't have any bunching or weird gathering of fabric. It looks like there's a black hole just sucking everything just under my dick, but I'm pretty happy with it. I feel so dumb. I know. Yeah, don't feel dumb. I just feel like this is something I should have learned as a child. I definitely feel like I'm working so hard to make no progress at all. Yeah, I made zero progress. This is making me so sad. I've made backwards progress. I've made progress, but the result isn't amazing. Side two. Yes, motherfucker, yes, look at that. That's so much better than the first side. Oh, we are doing it. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, you know, I think my mistake allowed me to learn. Teeth's already done and I haven't gotten one stitch. Well, I gotta put the buttons right now, it's just pinned on. And I wouldn't call I, it a I don't good job. I think you heard me. <laughs> I haven't gotten one stitch. I have no idea how the front crotch is different from the back crotch. Well, the front crotch connects it to the back, back crotch, crotch, and the back crotch is different from the front crotch, crotch and the front, front crotch, crotch is where to all the lines go. Oh, now I get it. And now Ned gets the crotch. Woo! We're down a sewing machine, so I'm making my pockets with the hem tape. Uh, you know, what's good about this? Very fast. What's bad about this? Might not actually hold cargo. My butt is so flat that I can just carry bottles in fitted pants all the time. It's great. I've only dreamed of such a thing. Eugene had a hard time completing a stitch. <laughs> it took a while for him to get comfortable with the machine and realize what the machine could do for him, but we both realized that he was pulling the fabric through the machine and that was messing with the timing of the needle. My goal now is just to have something that looks like I could put it on my body. Not gunning for first, gunning for participation award. Well, okay, 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 okay. I mean, these are pants from the front, uh, from the back. A little small, <laughs> a little small. Can you turn them around? Let me try this again. Sort of the same issue. Huh, how does that happen? Even worse this time. Here are the positives. They fit great on my legs. Here are the negatives. Everything else. Everything else. <laughs> I'm gonna sew a big waistband. Maybe mine will be pregnancy pants by the end. Comfort, fashion. Together at last. Yes. Did I heckin' do it? Did I heckin' do it? I wouldn't say I can take the biggest strides in the world, but are they pants? Yes, they are. Are they slowly falling down? Yes, they are. <laughs> Uh, and if my dick gets bigger, I'm ready for it. So with 45 minutes left to go, uh, Keith is the only person with an actual real set of pants at the moment. I don't think I would get 
arrested wearing these. <laughs> you know, this very uh, down to the wire moment makes me understand every reality show that involves design because you see them literally sewing things on the models before they run them out to the runway. Now I get it. Totally get it. I think the hardest part about pants is realizing that you have to make two pillars and then make the waist like crotch area and those are two different seams and Keith definitely made that mistake early on. Sort of like sucked, it just keeps getting sucked in. So remember how pants from Hot Topic were black and they just had pointless straps? Maybe if I throw some straps on this motherfucker, it'll be like, oh, well that's how it's supposed to look. We got time, why not ruin it? Call that the Zach Kornfeld approach. I know, I had planned some things to fuck up my pants, but I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to fuck them up. Should we just stop measuring things and start fucking cutting? Dude, way ahead of ya. This is very big for me. I have not measured any of this. What character growth? I know. Guys, look. Hey, hey look at you. What? I'm wow, back in. yeah. That looks awesome. Are you fucking kidding me? You've been complaining all this time and you still got your pants done before me? Well, they're not done. I still had to do everything. <laughs> uh, you have a full formed pair of pants. You're ahead of me. These fit really well, actually. They look nice, right? Yeah, you did it. They're pants. Dude, fuck you. Fuck off. <laughs> I this just, is why whenever he's like, oh, I'm so upset, everything's going badly, I'm like, just... Yeah, but he can't carry any pliers. So... <laughs> what do we think, you know? Eugene's been complaining, I've been quietly, diligently working, and I'd say that uh, we're equally as good, right? <laughs> 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 that kept going the whole time, even when stuff was getting very wonky. I sewed it a little tighter. Oh, oh it's still very crotchy. Oh, somebody's ready for Burning Man. This works a lot better, but I do have this confusing little tail. I'm gonna call this a belt hider. So I do the belt. What are you talking about? I can't wear my belt. Pants wear belts. Pants wear belts. Towards the end, I think the creativity really skyrocketed. Once he had a pair of pants, he knew where to go then. And then, this is great. Every time we're on set, you're like, where do you put your mic pack? Uh, where, where is it? Boop. Pack pouch. Okay, Woo! okay. So I'm trying to use a different type of fabric so I can get like a kind of a cute off color band strap here. Everybody's always like, Keith's so tame. He never does anything wild and wacky and creative. Well, not this time, motherfuckers. Hey, son. I think, I hope, I pray. A lot of dick. <laughs> My butt's doing that thing that yours was doing, Ned. No. Uh, What'd you do, Ned? No, it's upside down again. Maybe I can fold this down. Nobody cares, nobody can tell. I'll always know. So since the stripe is about the width of this tape, I'm gonna actually tape it down cut the tape out, remove the double side, and then just apply it. So like the wind. <laughs> Today was extremely stressful. I don't think that I won, but I learned a lot. This was a lot of fun. It was definitely really hard, and it gives me a lot of respect for seamstresses, tailors. We were all somewhat successful at covering our dicks and butts. That's what pants are all about. Just the saddest feeling to feel like you can't grasp something so simple. But now I think I have something that I can actually present without feeling too embarrassed. Allison, thank you so much for joining us for judging. Thank you for having me. Today, we will be judging on three criteria. Style, construction, and then lastly, is, is it, it pants? pants? Are they pants? Grammatically speaking. Up first, I would like to see Ned's masterpiece. All right, thank you. My wife is currently pregnant. I set out to make jaggings today. They should be tight, they should fit the booty nice, and they are gonna have a little belly band. Here are <clears throat> Ned's jaggings. Oh! oh. Wow! <laughs> But overall, I think the fit is pretty spot on. Maybe not so much in the crotch region. Where like where those holes are. Yeah. <laughs> so that whole section, is that a piece that's like 
a back piece. Yeah, the waistband is a whole separate kind of like band. And the hole is if you have like a little tiny tramp stamp that you want to highlight. <laughs> You know, I've been looking for a pair that has that. And then what made you decide to distress them in your video, but not here? The idea of distressing them in the video is you really want to see it in motion to kind of get that fashion look. You know, if you want it to be that kind of muted, like simple pant, if that's your style, you can have that. And if you kind of want it to be stylish and distressed, you can have that too. It's a beautiful way to say you ran out of time, but did it anyway. Yeah, totally. <laughs> they look like what he intended to make. Yeah. And that in itself to me was fascinating that that happened. And then yeah. <laughs> they're definitely pants. They are definitely pants. I think we would like to see Zach's pants. Judges, back in the day, as a wee lad, I was always very jealous of Juicy Couture, and I had these boring jeans. So for today, I wanted to take Juicy into the modern day, but this time for the fellas, presenting Juicy for him. <laughs> Those are purple. And this material almost demanded a loose, fit for comfort. And I wanted to highlight my most beautiful assets, of course, the ankles. And then in the back, in addition to the classic bedazzled bum, we have innovation, a little shark fin on the buttocks that doubles as a pouch for our microphones. Okay, so they're function and fashion. And what is that zipper? A fashion illusion. You went with stretch velvet, which it's very 90s, which is very on trend for right now. Also, you have this crop gaucho pant, which is also very hot for 2020, even though we all know none of us are wearing pants. From the bottom to the butt makes me happy, and then from the butt to the waist, like, I'm very confused. Thank you. Construction-wise, the shark fin, I think, is going to haunt my dreams. <laughs> Most importantly, judges, is they, are they pants? They are pants? <laughs> <laughs> they definitely are but your they are. pants. They are built for a body that is only yours. Okay, next, I would love to see Eugene. So I wanted to try to do something that felt like it could be worn like at a red carpet event. Mm. I don't know if I got there, but <laughs> I proudly present Eugene's tuxedo pants. Ooh. Oh. I love that fabric. Thank you, it was a nightmare to work with. <laughs> <laughs> it looks expensive. One thing I think that you wisely did <laughs> was use a pattern because it hides all the things. <laughs> uh, they definitely are almost leggings, but I think it's kind of like you get that British cut, the Beatles cut. It's definitely um, a testament to styling. Yes. I don't know if I'm helping or hurting, but I was very impressed with like this. I think this band is very clean. But yeah, I was able to, to at least hem the top and bottoms, which was nice. Is this the first pair of pants you've ever made? Oh, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> I really felt like I was just in a pit of despair. I could not get over the first stitch for probably the first hour and a half. Is are they it pants? <laughs> <laughs> they is our pants for sure. Definitely. It's a three. <laughs> Yay. Last, certainly not least. I wanted to make pants that you've never seen before. Pants that were specifically for dads. My pants, entitled, Daddy's Precious Cargo. Oh! <laughs> These pants are khaki cargo hot topic strap pants, complete with buttons that fasten them, baby. What is happening in the crotch? The straps almost make your black hole crotch moment intentional looking. <laughs> it looks like it's guiding you in. It's a vanishing point, you know? This is a lot to look at. Uh-huh. <laughs> My first instinct is it looks like a diaper. As a dad, I appreciate this. You know, it's very Instagram ready. 
This is for me. I only wish that I lived in a cul-de-sac. Construction, I think, is is where we fell a little short. Nobody even tried to make fashionable pants. Nobody tried to make pockets. I, I give you that for sure. It doesn't sound like you do. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, I guess the question we're all wondering right now is, is they pants? They yeah. is pants. They're pants. <laughs> Guys, we all made pants. You all Whoa. made pants. So Ned was first. I was expecting like absolute horror. Um, and yeah. then I was like, oh, okay. I do like that he, he had his wife's best interest in mind with her um, up and coming uh, child. Yeah. For me, they're the least creative, but they're up there for construction. They're the most pedestrian. Okay, so next we had Zach. You uh, weren't there, but he literally made four square panels and somehow that happened. They are wizardly pants, and that was a wizardly moment. I, I really do like he that he made a gaucho. Zero to near negative marks for construction. Yeah, the back is just like, it's like an abomination. It's painful. Okay, so then we have Eugene. They are so fun and like, and they fit really well. They look really good on him too. And they look expensive. It's shocking. He took a lot of time with the pattern and the pattern was really good. So even though he struggled a lot throughout the process, once he could sew it all together, basically just whatever that five seams or something, you know, and then once he got that, it was over. And then lastly, we have Keith. There obviously are some major fit issues and that's putting it lightly. I appreciate that he really thought about like the who, what, where, when, and why of his of his pants. And so for that, like, I don't think that they were the worst. I think it was a challenge for him to use a woven. And I think it's important that we recognize that. I think we do agree. It's a hard choice, but I think for the heart, it's worth it. Yes, I agree. Hello, we're back from our deliberation and conversation. So number four is, and this I would say is, is based on our criteria, wearability, creativity, and construction. Unfortunately, we have to go with Zach for our no! least favorite. Least favorite? Are you out of your fucking mind? I thought I at least had third in the bag for sure. I made a pouch, I had flow, I got style. I made something the world's never seen before. It's true, you did. Um, <laughs> I really appreciated the the on-trend silhouette of the, the gaucho, but that shark mm -hmm. fin in the back, mm -hmm. I just can't get past it. Mm -hmm. For me, it makes it have no wearability. I think that you just weren't ready, and that's not your fault. You lack the galaxy brain to see what I was attempting. I get that. Uh, my, my fashion is scary to many, um, and that's why we charge a high premium. In third place, this was actually, it was quite hard for us to pick. We chose Ned to be third. <sighs> because Ned, they were pretty well constructed, but they are a basic bitch pants. <laughs> just, you know, it, that's not what fashion's about. <laughs> Thank you, judges. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I am a basic bitch, and so I, I, I'm disappointed, but I, I humbly accept your spot on critique. Keith, Eugene, what would the win mean to you today? You know, I have been losing a lot lately. Fourth place. I'm gonna choose Keith. I'm so Ooh. sorry. What? In fourth place, Keith. Oh, you oh. fell! Oh, you me? <laughs> oh! Keith has fallen. And a win would just mean the world. It would probably get me out of the rut that I have been in emotionally for what seems like months now. And Eugene? For me, it's not 
often that I feel like I was last place right out the gate. I felt a lot like Keith in the Pi episode. It was just rock bottom for me. So to have a win would be, especially in a fashion challenge, I think it would be the most uh, elated I would ever feel from actually winning one of these competitions. Ooh, real stakes here. Our winner today. is Eugene. Oh! <laughs> Eugene, we both felt that you used that patterned fabric to your advantage. You made something look expensive and it fit well. It was a good looking pair of pants, at least from, from this far away. But that being said, Keith, we really appreciated your creativity and your innovation. And yes, you did struggle with your construction, but we were really proud of all the risks that you took. He was like, you know, why try to go above and beyond sometimes? You know, why try to make pockets? Why bother? You know, with this kind of result, I just, I don't know how you two are in the fashion industry. At all. <laughs> we're not in the fashion industry. We're in the. Oh, there you go. There you go. We're, we're in uh, the TV industry. Well, there you go. I'm very humbled by the first place in this one. It was a very difficult, difficult process, and it is one of the few challenges where I actually feel like I want to learn. I was so better. Well, hopefully the audience can let us know what they want us to try. And Keith can gun for that first place. He's, a, he's second place right there. You're right there. I, I can smell it now. You know, I just want to taste it. But the hem is very crisp. Chris Pemsworth. That's it. Chris Hemsworth. Uh, that's what it was. Chris, Chris Hemsworth. 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 We got there.